This tutorial explains how to replace characters in a character string using the gsub and sub functions in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our data object X contains a character string that contains three times the letter A and three times the letter B. Now let's assume that we want to replace only the first occurrence of the letter A by a different character. Then we can apply the sub function as you can see in line five of the code. And within the sub function, we need to specify the pattern that we want to replace. Then we need to specify the pattern that we want to insert. And then we need to specify the name of our data object. So in this case, our data object is called X. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom that another character string output is returned. And as you can see in this character string, we have replaced the first occurrence of the letter A by the letter C. However, you can also see that the other occurrences of the letter A have not been replaced. And this is the main difference between the sub and the G sub functions. So the sub function replaces only the first occurrence of a pattern and the gsub function replaces all occurrences of this pattern. And we can see that by applying the gsub function as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in the previous example in line five. However, this time I'm using the gsub function instead of the sub function. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that another output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see this time, we have replaced all the occurrences of the letter A by the letter C. So in these first examples, I have explained how to replace one specific pattern by a different pattern. However, it's also possible to replace multiple patterns using the sub and G sub functions. And this is what I want to show you in the next lines of code, starting in line nine. So in line nine of the code, I'm applying once again the sub function. However, this time I'm specifying that I want to replace either the character A or the character B. And once again, I want to replace these characters by the character C. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see at the bottom that a new character string is returned. And this time this character string contains exactly the same characters as before when we applied the sub function because it has replaced only the first occurrence that matches this pattern. So in the next example, I show you how to apply the G sub functions to multiple patterns. So once again, I'm using the same input for the G sub function as for the sub function. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that all the characters in our character string have been replaced by the new letter C because the G sub function replaces all occurrences that are matching the pattern that we have specified at the beginning of the G sub function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.